hyper cementosis hyper cementosis what are the other names or synonyms for hyper cementosis exostosis of root and cementum hyperplasia exostosis of root and cementum hyperplasia are the other names for hyper cementosis so what is hyper cementosis so hyper cementosis refers to the prominent thickening of the cementum it may be localized or generalized so usually cementum present at the root portion that covering the dentin so the hyper cementosis refers to there is a prominent thickening of the cementum called hyper cementosis what are the causes first one is accelerated elongation of a root so the accelerated elongation of the tooth it occurs due to lack of antagonist that is lack of tooth function so it occurs due to inherent tendency of the periodontium to maintain normal width of the pdl if cemental overgrowth is observed in root of the teeth for which antagonist of opposing arch is absent it is called disuse hypertrophy so there is a lack of tooth functioning and the opposite tooth or is absent it produces disuse hypertrophy it causes hyper cementosis the second cause is inflammation of the root it occurs at some distance above the apex as the inflammatory reaction acts as a stimulation for the cementoblast so the inflammatory reaction acts as a stimulation for the cementoblast and the third one is tooth repair occlusal trauma it result in mild root resorption and is then repaired by cementum formation so occlusal trauma result hyper cementosis and root fracture is also repaired on occasion by the deposition of the cementum between the root fragments as well as in their periphery so tooth repair occlusal trauma trauma and root fracture is repaired by cementum formation or deposition so another uh, cause are pages disease so pages disease is a generalized skeletal disease characterized by excessive amount of cementum formation on the root of the teeth so generalized and by apparent disappearance of the lamina dura of the teeth so here the pages disease there is presence of hypercementosis and disappearance of lamina dura of the teeth and other conditions of hypercementosis are hyperpituitarism cleidocranial dysostosis chronic inflammatory process and chronic palpal and periapical infections these are the other conditions causing hypercementosis hyperpituitarism cleidocranial dysostosis chronic inflammatory process and chronic palpal and periapical infection what are the clinical features of hypercementosis first age it is most predominantly seen in adults and what are the site it is more commonly affect permanent teeth than the distressed teeth and premolars are more commonly affected and are often bilaterally affected and symmetrical in distribution so premolars are commonly affected and mostly it is symmetrical in distribution these are the site may important sites that hypercementosis occur and what are the clinical presentation first one is sign so teeth are vital is very very important teeth are vital not sensitive to percussion and there may be difficulty in extraction because the root end is bulgy so difficulty in extraction these are the signs for hypercementosis and what are the symptoms there is no increase or decrease in tooth sensitivity unless periapical infection is present if there is any periapical infection is present it increases the tooth sensitivity or decreases the tooth sensitivity otherwise there is no symptoms and what are the other features in some cases hypercementosis is so extensive that it causes fusion of the tooth two or more teeth so it extend and fusion the two or more teeth and root appears larger in diameter than normal and present as a rounded apices so hypercementosis is so extensive that it causes fusion of two or more teeth and root appear larger in diameter than the normal tooth and 
present as rounded apices and there is formation of spikes on the cementum so which can occur in cases of excessive occlusal trauma and probably due to deposition of irregular cementum in the focal group of pedial fibers so if there is excessive occlusal trauma there is a spikes on the cementum formation so these are the other features of hyper cementosis and what are the radiographic features lamina dura will follow the outline of the teeth in normal pedial space so there is a thickening and apparent blunting of the root with rounding apex so here the important point we have to remember is lamina dura will follow the outline of the teeth and there is a thickening and apparent blunting of the root with there is a rounding apex and another feature is apex appears as bulbous in some instances after symmetric distribution of the cementum and there may be mildly irregular accumulation of the cementum that is accommodated by related area of the bone resorption if there is any bone resorption present it repaired by uh, cementum so there is a accumulation of the cementum so this radiograph shows the molar tooth distal root uh, the apex is bulgy there is a excessively excessive cementum deposit in the root end of the distal root the lamina dura follow the tooth so here also another example of hypersemantosis case in the mainly main point here is the lamina dura will follow the same pattern of the hypersemantosis uh, cases also so what are the differential diagnosis for hypersemantosis so first one is cementoblastoma it is a true benign tumor of the cementum attached to the tooth so it is a true benign tumor of the cementum and it may cause root resorption apex of the tooth seems to be disappear into lesion so more rounded with peripheral radiolucency pain is associated and there is a cortical expansion if it goes large so cementoblastoma mainly we have to remember that point it is a true benign tumor of cementum and root resorption is present and uh, there is a radiolucency and pain is present and another um, differential diagnosis is dilacerated tooth root the tooth root uniformly wide but bend like arc or at 90 degree small bend in the apical third of root may be most difficult to differentiate from hypercementosis so pulp canal follows the bend of the root if it is a dilacerated tooth root there is a pulp canal follow of the follow the bend of the root it is a differentiating feature and the next one is mature periapical osseous dysplasia it is a normal tooth root morphology there is a uniform pedial space is not present and radio opacity is more irregular so mature periapical osseous dysplasia how will you differentiate from hypersemantosis there is not uniform pedial spaces present and other differentiating features idiopathic osteosclerosis anastosis and dense bone island it may occur near the root apex and separated from the tooth by normal appearing pedial space these are the idiopathic differential diagnosis and the next differentiating feature is differential diagnosis is sclerosing osteitis so it is separated from the tooth by void and pedial space and the sclerotic reaction of the bone due to inflammatory process at the apex of the tooth caused by pulpal pathology and the, here the important point differentiating point is tooth is non vital in sclerosing osteitis tooth is non vital in hypersemantosis tooth is vital there is no signs and symptoms on what are the management the management of hypersemantosis is we have to treatment treat for primary cause we have to identify the treat and treat the primary cause it is the management